All right, I'm super excited to get my first look at the Tarmagon 850 Ultra Down Jacket from Scree. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to another video. My name is Jeremy. Yeah, 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 we get it. This channel is all about outdoor adventure. I'm talking backpacking, hiking, hunting, and awesome gear. And if you're into any of that, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss a thing. Yeah, we get it. But what you're going to want to do is stick around until the end because I have an update about this down jacket. Now, let's get to it. So I'm super excited about this jacket. This is another layering piece uh, that I picked up from screegear.com in their mountain stealth pattern, which is being discontinued in January, 2021. So if, if you like it, you're going to have to get it soon. Let's get right into it. So just a bag packaging. I'm looking for no easy open. So we'll just tear right into it like Christmas time, I guess. First thing that I see is a stuff sack. It's kind of cool. Oh. And it would be really, really cool because it's supposed to be labeled with uh, the name of the product. And as you can see, these are for the Nebo rain pants. So I'll have to contact Scree to see if I, I can get the, the correct uh, stuff sack. But that is a fantastic idea to put the name of the product on the stuff sack. Makes it super easy to find it in your bag. Um, love, love, love the idea. I just wish I had the right bag. Tearing it open. Get rid of the packaging. This, this is nice. So this is billed to weigh 15 ounces. Uh, I haven't put it on a scale yet, so I'm not sure, but at 15 ounces for an insulating layer, that is fantastic. Yeah, coming from a, a backpacking background, that's exactly what I'm looking for in an insulating layer. Uh, great Scree logo. It's embroidered on there, so it's it's much more subdued than some of the other Mountain Stealth gear items that that I've unboxed in the past. Um, oh, 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 oh! What is this? Stuff sack number two, but same thing. Uh, so two stuff sacks, uh, both for the for the rain. Oh, this is for the rain jacket. Uh, you know what? I should. This is this is certainly not the the Nemo rain jacket. Uh, this yeah. This is the this is the, indeed the the Tarmagon uh, 850 Ultra Down. So wanted to make sure that I wasn't going crazy there. But let's go ahead and get this off. So we'll put that there. All right. Back to my initial thoughts. I'm liking the jacket so far. You know what? The way to tell these, as always, is to just try it on. Let's do that. So here we have it. We'll unzip it. Good contrast in color. Now I probably should have gotten this a size larger, uh, it being meant to go over top of, of two other layers. And, and in fact, as an extra large, it is pretty snug on me. So I can either, again, drop some pounds, which I clearly need to do anyway, or what I will likely be doing is taking advantage of Scree's VIP sizing guarantee, which allows me to send this back at uh, Scree's expense. They'll pay for the shipping and send me the correct size. So I'll, I'll at least be going up to a 2XL for me, but as, as an insulating layer for under a pound, this is really, really nice. Uh, it feels good. It has a great 
form-fitting hood so you can really snug that down. You know, I'm thinking, you know, using this as, as part of a winter sleep system even where, you know, this can extend your sleeping bag, you know, by, you know, 10 to 15 degrees, especially if you pair it with down pants or booties. But this is super, super comfortable. It is a 100% nylon exterior, so it's, it's definitely noisier than, than their soft shell, like the hard scrabble jacket. Anti-tear resistant or, or an anti-tear finish, according to the website. I've not had this out in the field, so I can attest to the durability of it. Build to be water resistant, so not, not waterproof, so it's not Gore-Tex. Probably has a Teflon finish like some of their other jackets. Uh, give you an idea of the athletic fit by just doing a quick turn. You know, you're probably not actually doing any, any actual hunting or any physical hunting in this jacket. Uh, I can see this more, you're up on a ridge line or up on a hill, a bench or whatnot, uh, you know, glassing an area, you're just trying to, to stay warm. Uh, I can definitely see this working very well in the wind and I'm hoping to give that a try. Two side zippers, very nice. And I am like a magician pulling out stuff sacks and, and check it out. The Ptarmigan super down jacket. I got the right stuff sack. Awesome job, Scree. And I have spares for, for other things. Uh, so apparently you can have, you can't have too many stuff sacks. So that's pretty awesome. It has a draw in waist. So if you're using this as a, as a part of a layering system, I would almost recommend getting uh, two or three sizes above where you're at. So I, I would normally wear an extra large. And if I was just wearing this as an out and about jacket, you know, it's, it's a little snug and a little form fitting, but, but manageable. But if you want uh, a base layer, a jacket, um, you know, maybe another insulating layer under there. This needs to be much larger, you know, so, so having it two sizes above where I'm at, you know, having a 3XL jacket for me is a hit to my pride, but in terms of actual functionality, you know, I, I'll take that. That's probably what I'll end up getting when I send this back is instead of getting a 2XL, which would be the next size up, just going ahead and getting a 3XL that'll give me a lot more room to, to really layer up underneath of this. Just makes it a lot more valuable as an insulating layer. This is a cool feature, little elastic thumbs. There's nothing more annoying on a jacket than trying to put on gloves or mittens you know, that would normally get like the gauntlet area would go over top of the jacket and then having the sleeves slide up so that you get snow or whatever else inside. That's an awesome feature. I, I like that a lot. One chest pocket that is crazy deep. I mean, it goes all the way up to the shoulder, you know, and, and all the way down to the pit. So that's very, very cool. Uh, no pit zips. So there's no, no other adjustments on this. This is really meant to be that layer. You know, you're not wearing this hiking or anything. You're, you're going to get to that bench. You're going to sit down, set up your, your binoculars, or your spotting scope, and, and you're going to you know, start to pick apart the landscape. You're going to put this on to stay warm. Or you're at camp, everything is set up, you're making a fire, and, and you're just you know, enjoying your dinner. You're going to throw this on to keep the chill off. From that standpoint, I love this jacket. I'm really looking forward to getting the correct size for me and actually getting it out into, into the field, using it as part of a layering system and, and really seeing how well it does. So if you're thinking about getting you know, a down outer jacket as part of, of your layering system, be sure to size up a size or two. Uh, that's just gonna make it a lot more convenient, a lot more comfortable for you. I think that about wraps it up for... Whoa, whoa, whoa! An important announcement. We still have to give them the update. So shortly after filming, I got in the packaging, I filled out the sizing warranty information, boxed everything up, used the prepaid postage label, and sent my jacket back to Scree. Within a week, I got a call from one of their reps. They had some bad news for me. So that down jacket in the size that I wanted 
a 3XL, so I went two sizes up from what I, what I had previously, was no longer in stock in the Mountain Stealth pattern. So they gave me three options, one of which was to upgrade to their Summit pattern. They had it in stock. They knew that it wasn't the sale price, but they were willing to give it to me anyway for the price that I paid. So I said, that sounds fantastic. And three days later, I got this beautiful Tarmagon 850 power filled down jacket in their Summit pattern. And, and you can kind of tell that it's a bit lighter than what I have. 3XL and it works perfectly. So right now I have the base layer on. I have a fleeced vest on. We'll throw on the hard scrabble jacket. Get it all zipped up. For those of you that are wondering, I'm about 5'11", 230 pounds, okay? So we've got some weight to lose before elk season, and I know that. But as part of a layering system, I have every layer that I would want on out in the field. And this jacket fits perfectly over top of them. Plug your ears, we'll zip it all the way up. It's got the same great fitted hood. It's awesome. Thank you, Scree, for getting this jacket in such a short period of time. I've actually, so very, very quick update. I have had a chance to use this out in the field and really with these exact same base layers, I've had it down to the mid teens and I stayed warm. Like this thing is awesome. As a layering system, I'm super impressed so far. I'm gonna do a lot more testing and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, you found it valuable and or encouraging, share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss a new video. And speaking of videos, you might also like this one or this one. Until next time, John 317.